In this lecture, I'll show you how to complete the schematic design workflow by adding some explanatory comments, which are very similar to comments in software source code. So let's see what we can do here to provide some information. Obviously, it's, again, this circuit is self-explanatory, but imagine larger circuits as you'll be working with later on in this course with more components, more uh, circuit segments, perhaps things are not that obvious in such cases and comments do help to convey useful information to whoever is looking at the schematic. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KiCad course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KiCad from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. So there's a few interesting tools right here that we can use for this purpose. Uh, there's a box, for example. I'm going to draw a box around the uh, circuit. Uh, the box has handles, so I can resize it easily. I'm also going to switch off the grid. And that's just a simple box. And another thing that I can do is to add text. And I can add some information using this text, such as, for example, LED torch. Very simple, but imagine again, uh, imagine you have a more complicated schematic with more segments of a single circuit. Each segment has a particular purpose. You can put it in a box and then you can provide information about the characteristics and the purpose of each of those uh, circuit blocks. There's also a link down the bottom. Just going to put the Tech Explorations website. I can choose things such as fonts, colors, etc., and click OK. And let's place it up there. Terrible font, but it will do for now. And you can see that this is clickable and it will bring up the browser. Another thing that you can consider doing without adding any new text, but by using information that already exists in the schematic, is to show the footprints that are assigned to each symbol. So I double clicked on the battery cell to bring up the properties and you can see that there is a show column next to each of these properties and you can enable or disable the show button for each one of those. So if I enable it for the footprint, it would look like this. And then I can just separate it by clicking on the text and just setting it to the uh, location where I want it to stay. I can do the same thing for the other three. So here is the, oops, let's try that again. Just want to pick the text only. So here's the LED. Here is the resistor. And here is the switch or button. Obviously now the schematic is pretty busy, so you may not want to go that far with so much information, but this is just a, an option that you have. Okay, I'm gonna save. And this now completes the entire schematic design workflow. So what we are going to do next is to work on the layout design, which we'll do in the next section of this course.